Jack! 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 What have you done? Have you put bronzer on? No, I have put fucking bronzer on. How do you look good? <laughs> what have you done to your hair? Huh? Go and put a t-shirt on. Hi everybody, welcome no, back. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare take this. <laughs> don't you dare take this from me. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by my fiance. Hello. Fiance of over a year, no. Yes. Yep. Nearly two years we've been engaged. Yep, going on three. No, three going three on three years. Three by the time we get married. No, two by the time we get married. <laughs> you said going on. No, I didn't. You did. Okay, two. It feels like a lifetime. <laughs> it does, it feels like forever. Jack and I haven't filmed together for a really long time. I think the last time that we did a video like this was actually when we got engaged. Yeah. But I thought it, it was quite... What? Say what you're going to say. It Go. was a while ago. It was a while ago. How long? Just going on two years. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was going to be a really nice thing to do, a little Q&A. Obviously Jack and I are getting married in approximately three months. Yeah. Ish. Yeah, I just think these are really fun. I personally love watching them because I love learning a little bit more about the man behind the camera, the woman behind the, t the the computer screen. Let's get deep. So what I did this morning was I asked on Instagram for you guys to ask me and Jack questions. This is what I put up. Okay guys, time for a fiancé Q&A. Ask us anything. We're filming this afternoon. That's a lot of questions. Still going. I think what we should do is Pick one by one. Okay, first one from Anna Mae Davies is, do you ever fall out? Yes. Not really. Not, not major fallouts. We never, we never... We have minor arguments. Yeah. We never... Uh, Mostly over what? You talking over me. <laughs> Usually it's silly women, to be fair. No, it's not. I think that we fall out over silly things. I shout a lot. I get really, I get shouty. But it's never in malice, really. Nah. And we never go to bed angry. No, no, no. We do it's bicker. It's usually about small trivial things like... Ignoring. What kind of milk to get? That's a lie. That's a complete lie. That's just an example. No. Some like over shopping. We'll argue no. over shopping. No, we won't. You do. See, this is another thing. You need to not lie. I'm not lying. We, we are lying. When, when was the last time we were arguing over shopping? Loads of times. You've last night, probably. No, I went to get cereal and you said no. What are you on about? Last night. Cereal? No. You just made that up? No, I didn't. You're a psycho! <laughs> oh my god, he's a psycho, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, a psycho. Um, there you go. We do argue, but only just because Jack. The question was do you fall out though? We don't. Fall we don't out. fall out, we bicker. Yeah. You can pick one now. Okay. What annoys you the most about Jack? Or wait, did I pick one that's related to me? Or do, I do you know what? I think that's fine. Who, who asked that? Sasha Barlow one. I think we should answer this for each other because I, I, I've seen it already. There's a lot of people that say what annoys you the most about each other. Okay. Um, you go first. Oh, annoys me. Probably the mess. Yeah, I knew that was coming. Yeah, but I be... cleaned the house yesterday. You did, to be fair. Yeah, Jamie's pretty messy in spots, but then she will redeem herself and clean up. Redeem myself. To the Hurley King. Yeah, you redeemed yourself <laughs> yesterday and cleaned up the whole kitchen. Sure. So, what annoys yeah. me the most about Jack? <laughs> How long have I got? No, I'm joking. You, uh, I said this to you the other day. I'm a problem solver, you're a flapper. So see, <laughs> it's so true though, isn't it? So see if something, for example, something went wrong, I wouldn't really tell anyone about it. I would just look at the situation, see how to resolve it and fix it myself without saying a word. Jack, without even trying to fix the situation, will go, blah, 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 it's not gonna go on. Just yeah. <laughs> and they go, James, this, this has happened, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I agree. Okay. And I just, I, I, I just say to him, I'm like, Jack, if you just used your brain, you'd be able to fix this without telling me and without stressing me out. Do you agree? Mm -hmm, that's a good answer. The stuff that you flap about, I don't flap about, and the stuff that I flap about, you don't flap about. Yin and yang. Hi, drugs. What are you doing, little man? Hello. Oh, Hello. oh my God. There's a dog. Kiss. 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 Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Chloe Foster underscore X said, what was the first thing that attracted you to each other? Love you guys. Thanks very much, Chloe. Love you too. I just loved him. I honestly, I've said it in multiple interviews and so I'm not embarrassed by it anymore. I think you had a wee bit of a reputation. I think I knew about you before I met you. What? Not in a bad way. I think everyone just used to talk about him and how cool he was and how good looking he was. And I knew that before I met you. And then when I met you, I was like that. What? <laughs> 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 so I'm just came out your nose there. First thing that attracted me to Jamie was her good looks. She was very good looking. Is very good looking. You thought I was good looking. To be honest, do, do you know what? See, in all fairness, I think the majority of people, the first thing that attracts you to someone is the way that they look. Yeah, she was outgoing, very outgoing. I like that. Thanks. Yeah. 
Okay. This one is from Rachel Donaldson, underscore Rachel Donaldson, underscore. Do you ever feel you need a break from each other as you're together all the time? Do you know what, some of, quite all these questions that we're picking out are quite negative. Mm. I would think so. No, me either. If Definitely anything, not. I feel like... When I'm not with you now, it feels like I've lost my arm. No, it is. It's strange. It's a really, it's really strange to be without each other because we're together so much. I wouldn't say it's a dependence thing. No, it's not. It's just it, enjoying the company so much. Yeah. Oh, that's that really nice. When we're not together, it just feels strange. I totally agree. Because we spend so much time together and we work together and we live together and we're going to get married, like all that stuff together, a lot of people, even in our personal lives, were like, are you sure that you guys are going to manage all this? It's quite a lot. Yeah, I think it's, it's quite a lot for, for a couple to do. But like we proved them wrong. I do agree with those people and for some relationships but for me and Jack it seems to have if anything improved the quality of our time together yeah definitely I think we're really lucky and we mm. always have a laugh together nothing's really serious and also well it's serious in certain yeah aspects, we're but... serious people when, it ha when we have to be but yeah. another thing is we do kind of have our own time in the house and stuff we're not constantly like this together like I love sitting in my makeup room watching films Jack loves sitting in the living room playing his games. We're both quite social people. We go out with our friends and stuff. When we're away on trips and things, obviously we're together constantly. So like, I think I think at the moment we've been together every single day nearly this year. Yeah, yeah, because we've been doing Which a lot of travelling and mental. stuff. We both hang out with each other's friends. Yeah. But we also have friend groups that, that we are hang separate, out separately. Yeah. So we can yeah, we can spend it's time nice. with our friends individually. Yeah. yeah. So we get we get time apart as well as being together. But we are together a lot and it works really well for us. Yeah. A lot of people are asking the same question, so I think we should just answer it. But mm -hmm. the, the one I'm reading just now is from Katie Burden and she asked, Do you want kids? Yes. Yes. We do. We, we that that would be great. Obviously yeah. we don't know what's in our path. But if we're able to have kids, I know that we definitely do want them. Yep, 100%. We've actually spoke about it. Not massively in quite, depth, but... Well, quite, it's... A, quite a lot, I think. We're not planning the day and the time yeah. that you, you just can't do that. No, but... So, and... hopefully. Yeah, as an overall, yes, we definitely do. I know that other people have asked this question, is how, how many kids? But, yeah. You just don't know what it's for you. So, whatever happens, happens. And hopefully, yeah. It'll just be really exciting. It'll be a very exciting time when it happens. That's that. <laughs> <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> he won't be a daddy. <laughs> but we've got Drogba right now. Yeah, he's a big enough kid for me at the moment. This one is from Just Abigail, and she asks, "What are you most looking forward to at your wedding?" The food. The food. The the, the sunshine. The, the ceremony, and then close second, the food. And then the sunshine. And the sunshine. And swimming. And the holiday aspect of it. Yeah, because the, the, the whole thing about our wedding is it's actually quite informal. Like, loads of people have been asking me, what, what would I wear, what would I wear? And I was like, wear whatever you want. Wear your summer clothes, doesn't matter. I just think it's going to be the best time ever. Mm -hmm. And the way I've been describing it to people is it's like a family and friend holiday and me and Jack are getting married somewhere in the middle. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. It's going to be like a small holiday for our friends and family as well Which as Which is what we've wanted wedding. to do for them for a long time, combined yeah. yeah with the ceremony and with the events that go along with the ceremony we'll also have a few days of just relaxation and sunbathing chilling out yeah we're just really excited it is just gonna be like a holiday i think mm -hmm. oh this is one for you oh but i know the answer to this already but it's interesting Anna underscore sneed said jack are you more excited or nervous for the wedding excited I thought you were going to say Excited that. Excited, easily. Are yeah. you nervous for your I'm speech? A, I'm nervous a little bit I, for the speech. I am too. Um, but even still, I, I wouldn't say I'm massively nervous. When I'm excited, I get quite nervous anyway, just like nervous excitement. Like I, I, think, I get yeah. shaky and stuff like Nervousness that. Nervousness so. and excitement are so similar. Yeah. That yeah, is. So yeah. a bit of both. A lot more so excitement. This one is from Emily Blythe X. Is Jack getting a say and planning the wedding? What on earth do you mean is he getting a say? It's our wedding, of course he is. Yeah. But you are in, as involved as you would like to be. Is that yeah, the right way yeah, to say it? Yeah, 100%. Percent, yep. Jack's favourite thing is just to make the man's of me say, Jamie, we should probably do this by now. And I'm like, I've done it, Jack. Don't yep. worry. Yeah, Jamie's on the ball more than me. Jamie is better at it than me. The venue we picked together, we went to, the in, to do Stuff like the wedding. invites and that. Like me and Charlotte just made them up. Because yeah. I knew that you'd like them, and yeah. I showed you them, and you went, oh, they're amazing, and I was yeah. like, perfect. Yeah, this, the minor things Jamie kind of takes the reins with, but... Um, <laughs> he trusts me with the minor things. Yeah, but the bigger the bigger things, we, yeah, we, we both yeah. planned it. I would never do anything without asking Jack what he thought about it. Wedding planning was something that I found quite difficult, but now that we're 
over mm. the bulk of it and it's just the excitement for what we've planned it's, it's yeah. great it's mm -hmm. really really exciting now brianna x nicole x says what do you love most about each other what do i love most about jamie she makes me laugh a lot do you mm -hmm. no one else makes me laugh as much as you do oh like raw laughter, pure raw laughter where, not uncontrollable laughter, but just laughter where you're not, ha ha ha, that's funny, like when you're actually laughing and it hurts. You think I'm funny? Yeah, you make me laugh a lot. Yeah, I didn't think you thought I was very funny. Yeah, yeah, I've told you this before. What? You're funny too. You want out now? I think you are the kindest person. You're funny as well, you're all, you're all those good qualities that people love, like you're funny, you're kind. You're like nice to everybody. Like I've found myself some of the, some of the times that I'm not with Jack. Like I've been on work trips before, where I just could not wait to get home with Jack because I just wanted to be around someone that was just a hundred percent genuine and kind. He's the easiest person to be around. Everybody falls in love with him. Everyone. <laughs> it's to the point where I'm an only child, right? And I quite like being the favourite. I'm not the favourite in quite a lot of cases anymore because of him. <laughs> and it's it's been a really hard pill to swallow, but I've done it. Oh, what's wrong? Look at his tiny eyes. He's just tired. Yeah, he's tired. Oh my god, he's so tired. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, look at those sleepy eyes. Oh Where's my... your ball? Where's your ball? Look at how perfect he is. We're going to finish the film and then go for a wee walk. Oh, oh nice. nice. This one is from Leanne Munro. Who is more competitive? I think we're both going to. See... Oh, do you think me as well? I think you. Okay. Well, think, saying that, I think depends. you're quite competitive as well. Yeah, do but I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that we, but we are quite competitive with each other. Definitely, we've been playing a lot of Mario Party. Well, we've not played it now. We were. Well, played it in a couple of weeks, but do you know why we've not played it in a couple of weeks? Because I started winning all yeah, the time. Jimmy was winning. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. In fact, Jimmy went on a roll, I think, and then we gave you up. Just got we no, up. but well, that's we're competitive when it comes to that. When it comes to any video games or computer games, we're competitive. Yeah. When it comes to Even, anything one on one, we're competitive. Yeah. But and at the same time, at team games, when we're both on the same team, we're competitive together as well. We're quite competitive in life as well. Like, for example, who knows the best route to get somewhere? It'll be like, I'll know a better route to get there. You're like, no, I don't. Yeah, no, go and this way. And then editing as well with videos. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll do a bit and you go, no, 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 don't do it like that. It always makes whatever we're doing come out better. Better. What did you do for your first date? That is from X Emma underscore Kavanagh. X. Can you remember? Yes, I can remember. So can I. Jack picked me up in what kind of car was it? A Peugeot? My Peugeot 206. Peugeot 206. Jack Baby picked blue. me up, took me to Frankie and Benny's, which was approximately four minutes drive from my flat I was living in at the time. And he got... Smooth. But I loved it at the time because I was that. just... I was, and I felt a bit sick though because I was so nervous. And Jack ordered really, really spicy chicken wings and Jack's really funny when he eats hot food because he starts sweating profusely, like a Long King Polly style. Yeah, I'd never... To sweat. Like, I was alarmed because you were picking up the napkin and dabbing your face. <laughs> I was like, what is I'd happening I'd to never this man? Had, I'd never had these wings from Frankie and Benny's before. It didn't say they were hot Do you know what's wings. funny? I bet now you'd be able to handle them, no bother. Possibly. Because you're quite good at spice now. Yeah, but I was like Ben Stiller, profusely sweating. I could stop. I had, only face. had like three wings as well, but I was so hungry because I hadn't eaten that day either. You're nervous. Sweating <laughs> my... <laughs> oh, there's a good one as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and steal this one from you. L D L, like Lidl, one two nine said, "What did Jack do for work previously?" I was a bricklayer. I worked on building sites, building built houses, houses, built houses, foundations around the Glasgow area. Foundations were the worst, man. I remember them so well. Monday morning, pissing down the rain outside, welly boots on, and off to fling around mud yep. for eight hours a day. Now you come home shattered and go straight to bed. It was really rubbish. It was actually really dull. Yeah, I was tired a lot. Okay, this one is from Cloda, Cloda underscore Wilson. Do you guys ever get jealous? Do you know what's interesting? We don't. No. We honestly really don't. No. And I think that that is the key to a healthy relationship. Definitely, yeah. I think I got jealous. I've been, yeah, I've been the, jealous we, a couple of times. When we first started going out, well, maybe not just first started going out, but early, early stages of the relationship, when we weren't as solid, maybe been jealous one or two times. But now... I used to get a wee bit jealous right at the start, but I was only like 19. Yeah. So, yeah, I used to get I used to get a wee bit jealous, I suppose. But if we're grown ups now, we're getting married, we, we just don't... Yeah, you absolutely don't have any time to be talking to anyone else. <laughs> no. This one is from Rhinosaurus XX. Would you ever leave Glasgow? Do you want to answer first? Uh, we should answer separately. Okay. What, how you feel about it and how I feel about it? No, uh, I wouldn't leave Glasgow. I thought, I, no. I thought you were saying no to me. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, Glasgow has my heart, man. I'd maybe move somewhere else in Scotland, but I'd always like to be in the vicinity of Glasgow. I love it. Yeah, um, I'm the exact same. We did 
think about moving to LA for a small uh, amount of time, not that long ago. <laughs> But um, we had a trip over there not long after that and uh, it kind of kicked in how much we'd miss home but if we did ever leave. Another thing is, with me and Jack, we really don't mind travelling, we don't mind jet lag. If we have to travel for work or whatever, yeah. we're happy to do that. I think as well, Scotland, Glasgow, the quality of life you get here. Yeah. Is that you saying that you love it or have you got heartburn? No, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone kind of feels like this about where they're from, but I truly feel like Scotland is such a, a lucky place to live and to mm -hmm. have been brought up. Yeah. And like we said, we do want kids in the future, so I would really want them to be raised here as mm -hmm. well. A lot of the times when we do travel, people say that they always want to visit Scotland, they've always wanted to go, they've heard it's incredible, things like that. And it does hit home. Makes you a bit proud. Yeah, it makes you proud of the place you come from and how much we like living here. Last one. Final hurrah. Sydney. How's that? Cousy Wicks. Cow switch. Cow switch? Cow switch. Is it? K U S I E W I C Z. Cow switch. Cow switch. Sydney Cow switch said, What is your favourite memory with each other? Memory lane. When I first bought my wee flat, it was so cheap. It was such a shithole, but I loved it so much. About a month into that, Jack had his own keys, but he hadn't moved in yet. And I went down to London to work for Illamasqua for five days, which was absolutely horrific, let me tell you. And I got home to my wee flat. This the first time that I'd gone away and come back to my wee flat. And this is actually my favourite memory ever. Because I got home, opened the door, and Jack was in the flat. He'd ran me a bath. He said, oh, I've got a surprise for you. Um, come through to the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so I went through and he pointed at the, the closet. All my clothes were on half the closet and then the other side of the, the wardrobe, Jack had all his shit in it. And I was like, what's going on? And then he just handed me money and was like, that's for this month's rent. I've moved in. <laughs> How the hell did we fit all that stuff I in the one wee tiny room? We didn't have that many things. Nah. So we literally, it was the tiniest wee flat ever. And I went for my bath. I was so excited. I remember being so tired from working in London. I had my bath. And then when I got out of the bath, I went through the living room and Jack was like, I've found us a dog. And I was like, what are you on about? I was like, we can't get a dog right now. And it was literally, quickly. there was a picture of, he showed me a picture of dog bath. And yeah. that, that's when, when he got dog When he was a puppy. Do you not think that's such a good story? Yeah, that's a good one. That's how me and Jack moved in together and I think I was 23. No. Yeah. No, I couldn't have been. Because we've lived together for four years now. So you'd have been 25? 21. What? You think I'm 29? Well, it was after the gobble. Oh, so I'm 29. Fuck I'm that. 30. Fuck. <laughs> I think it was when I was 20. Aye, roughly. My favourite memories are just the simple ones, I think. Like seeing you dancing on the ABC dance floor and uh... spending the first New Year's together. Really? Stuff like that. Yeah, just wee ones that I remember. They're my favourites. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned a little bit more about us. If you didn't, feel free to ask more down below. Obviously, we are in the vlogs every week together, but we don't really talk about deep stuff. So this is just a, bit, a little bit of a fun video, especially in the lead up to our wedding. I thought <laughs> it would be quite good for you guys to get to know Jack a bit better, me a bit better, you know, tighten the bond of you and I us, me and you. If you have any more fun ideas for me and Jack to film together then please do let us know down below because I would actually really like to film with you a little bit more. Yeah I'm up for it. Other than that we will see you in the vlogs and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye! Do that! Duh! Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by Jack. Yo. Oh. <laughs> Just say hello. Hi. Hello. 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 He has the leg to my body. The arm to my torso. <laughs> These are interesting. You guys are good at question and at and la 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 la. You sip your water as like an interview or something. You're not on Jimmy Kimmel. I'm just thirsty. I would. Uh, <laughs> <Pardon me. laughs> Matching. Jinx. Matching indigestion. They always ask me, do you kiss it often? Not really. We do kiss from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> On special days. <laughs> <laughs> Tensing up your legs and doing them straight. I'm not, I'm kind of the pins there. So yeah, no, so just, just, just sit like this. Sit like this, normal. No, I like to lie back. I like to sit back and go, this is a crap here. Stop fiddling. I just want to see what this does. What does it? Is that a roller? Ow. No, put it back in. Put it back in. Well, we weren't solid, were we? Solid. Yeah. Hey, my ears proper bleeding. Stop, <gasps> stop putting. Jack. Stop putting what the in. fuck? Have you touched it? Yeah. Believe it. Oh my god, it's pissing blood. I'm bleeding. That's why I'm not jealous. Shut up. Mate. So that's how it happened. <laughs> that was really fake, man. <laughs> so that's how it happened. Plus, fake as hell. Mm. <laughs>
<laughs> so that's how it happened. <laughs> so guys, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you have learned a lot about us. Um, more than... Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs>